All right, guys, Hosom RC struck again. Let's crack this thing open and take a look at it and see what it's all about. One thing I do like is you flip the box around and just look at all that information that's on the back of the box. Let's just go through a couple of the highlights. All right, we've got item number 9135. All right, so just looking at some things um, on the back of the box. Yes, it does have an instruction manual, but um, you can see that it's got the T-style plug connectors, which is awesome. Gives you a little rundown of the radio. Then, of course, over here, if you need to contact Hosom for any reason, um, their information is right there on the box. And it tells you what kind of batteries are included or not included in this case. And uh, everything you need to know to get you up and running. So, of course, this is a full ready-to-run package. Uh, this thing's got full ball bearings, high-performance motor. This is not a brushless motor. It's brushed uh, with an included LiPo battery, CVDs. 40 amp electronic speed controller and 1.8 kilogram high torque servo. So here's some more details on the side of the box. It's a 1 16th scale model. Um, you can go ahead and read the list here as I'm talking. So I like to feature these models on the channel because I think these are a great entry level hobby grade RC um, for the newbie or someone that or a kid let's say. Um, it doesn't cost a lot. We'll put the price point and the link down below. But um, there's definitely a place in the hobby for uh, this grade of RC. So let's crack it open and take a look. I forget just how small 1 16th scale is. Look at this goodie bag. In all my years of doing RC, I have never seen these three items, minus that screwdriver, <laughs> in a kit. There's a screwdriver. I guess that's a brush to clean your car off. And these two things, we're gonna have to uh, look in the manual because I've got no idea what those are for. All right, here's the white box. It's got the controller. Oop. Okay, right here is the charger. Um, again, if you have an aftermarket charger, I think that's gonna work because we have T-style connectors for the battery ESC, and there are more body clips in there. Foam wheel. Three AA batteries required for the radio. Simple controller, guys. Um, there's the power switch, and then up top there is a steering trim and throttle trim. Again, this is a great uh, controller because it's simple for a newbie getting into the hobby or a youngster. All right, there's the owner's manual. It's pretty thick, but there's a reason why. That reason why is because you have a ton of different languages. In the back of this manual, if you need replacement parts, they are all listed here for your convenience. And also, there's a couple thank you cards. You flip those over. Uh, you can go ahead and scan the UPC codes. Um, there's phone numbers. Um, if you need tech support, that information is on these cards. And like I mentioned earlier, on the back of the box. So that's kind of cool. And with that being said, everything you really need to know is in the first four pages. So again, simple RC. Um, which is not a bad thing. All right, first impressions. I mean, it's a cool little truck. It's got some weight to it. The tires have that aggressive little Traxxas Revo pattern, if you will. Um, there are no foams in these tires. Shocks, they're not oil filled, but those red aluminum springs look pretty cool though. So the colorway here is pretty neat. I like the blue, I like the red. Makes those springs pop. Two LEDs, that's cool. All right, don't forget to peel that protective film off. So what's cool here guys is that they give you two batteries. Here's one. The other one's already in the truck so it is a 1500 milliamp 2S LiPo T-style charging connectors. 
very simple design guys so you've got the brush motor with a red aluminum heat sink very cool we talked about the servo 40 amp ESC all right so you got CVDs in the front I'm not seeing CVDs in the back they look like just straight dog bones there is a steel drive shaft going right down the middle there is this plastic chassis stiffener going across the top chassis and rest of the parts are plastic I'm not sure if the diffs have metal gears or not I can't even tell by looking at the instructions but super smooth real smooth actually and that's not too big of a concern for a brush setup all right these turnbuckles or lack thereof um, no adjustments up front guys all right let's power up we're plugged in looks like we got power All right, let's go run it. One thing you gotta like about these 116 scale vehicles, if you got a camera bag, done deal, baby. This little ripper is amazing. Took it through its paces. It's just fast enough. It's just torquey enough. Um, put a smile on my face the entire time. Coming in at just below 70 bucks. Link is in the description box below and I would highly recommend one of these.